This is an excerpt from our Illustrator for Marketers online video course. It's the first of three examples of how to create a simple infographic. This is what we're going to create and here's the video. The tool I'm going to use is the graph tool. And I'm going to click and drag roughly the shape I want for the graph. When I let go, there comes the data window so into which I can type my data. Now if your data comes from Excel or some other spreadsheet the thing to do is in that program select just the fields that you want so just the cells rather that you want of the data copy then come to Illustrator and at this point do paste. It's better to do that than, than try and bring in a whole load of data some of which you won't want so just copy and paste the specific bits. But what I'm going to do instead is type the data in directly now I'm using quote marks to type in the years because I don't want Illustrator to interpret these numbers as data that needs to calculate so anything in brackets uh, sorry in quote marks will be ignored so 2010 uh, will be a label rather than data that it needs to crunch I'll then click on the next field along and put 10 so that's the 10% of users that were using our app in 2010 so I'll continue typing putting the years in quote marks. I'm going to use the tab key just to jump from one cell to the next and then the return key is a quick way of going down. You can also use the arrow keys to go left or right or you can simply just click. Okay, so there's all the data. The button here, we press it, will show how Illustrator can interpret that as a graph. So that's a good start. So now I can close the data window. So let's just compare this one with the other one. So you can see the other one looks a little bit different in that the font is different. So let's firstly change that. So we'll go to the character panel, we'll change that to the font that we've been using all the way through. Bebas like that. Of course we can change the size and so on. Now the next thing you might want to do is to change a little bit about the graph. Now I have to be honest and say the Illustrator is a little limited in what you can do, but uh, here's where you would go to do it anyway. You go to object, graph and type. And the main things here are the value axis and the category axis. So this down the side here is the value axis. Now what I want to do here is say th these are the percentage of users. So I want a suffix here. So that's a value after the number. I want to type the percent character there. So when I press OK it now says 50%, 60%, etc, etc, etc. Other things that you might have noticed that you can do in there would be to change the length of the tick marks, bring them in or not. So actually I haven't done much with that but it looks pretty similar. 